tell you, today is a big day. It is the opening of Star Wars tonight. That's why we're here in front of the Galaxy Cinema. But I've got a lot to do before I can go to this show tonight. I've got uh, work. I've got to go to a Christmas concert. I've got Santa photos. All in the hopes that I can get back here for 725 show meeting Brandon. Let's do this. <laughs> I made it to work. Now I have to quickly edit this uh, photos from yesterday. Santa photos. You know what? I need a coffee. Let's go to co-op. It's not the best coffee in town, but let's go get one. No Timmy's, but it'll pass for now. Let's uh, finish editing and then we can get out of here. When I was 11 years old, I went to the original opening of Star Wars, not the opening night. We traveled from where I lived in Pence to visit family in Winnipeg. And my parents took me to Star Wars in 1977 when I was 11 years old. So you can do the math. It's huge to me. It was a spectacle. I remember the opening, that smash opening with the Star Wars logo and then the crawl of the text. Blew my mind. I'd never seen anything like that. I was riveted from start to finish. After I watched that movie, I wanted toys. My parents gave me some good stuff that Christmas. I got the 12-inch uh, Luke Skywalker Barbie, we'll call it, because it was the shape and size of a Barbie. Came with you know, the blaster and the white outfit and the boots. It's a C-3PO and R2-D2 model that I built that I loved. X-Wing model. Lots of stuff. Sheets. I got bed sheets and curtains, I think, were, that were in my room. I was pretty lucky back then. My parents, uh, they spoiled me a little bit. Back to work. What you're seeing behind me is uh, me opening... Uh, the pictures to edit the mall hires us to do the Santa photos which is you know it's a lot of fun lots of great kids I get to goof around joke around lots of fart jokes and uh, you know stinky brother jokes edit them crop them send them off to the lab get those back stuff them in their envelopes a ton of work all right that's done on to the next thing which is um, got to run up to the mall some stuff ready there. Got to take these to the lab. Stick with me. All right. Got all the editing done. That means I got some time. It's 11, it's 1230. So I've got some time to run, grab myself a sub, go home, get ready. Got to be at Santa at three o'clock. Then, uh, then I'm off at six to go to the Christmas concert for my daughter. So whew, let's do this. <laughs> sub got my drink choke this down 
relax for a few minutes, and I'm off to the mall to do some sand photos. Ready to go up to the mall, do some Santa photos. Of course, it's always fun with all those little kids, but uh, let's get to work. One of the greatest things that I have to say about Star Wars is that I've shared it with so many people that have never seen it, like for example my kids. For me, Star Wars, like I said earlier, meant a lot. I went to the opening in 1977, I was just a kid. The best thing about Star Wars is everybody has a favorite. Of course mine is, you know, A New Hope, Episode 4 because it's the first one I saw in the theater. I know kids, I know people, younger people, who have seen Phantom Menace and, you know, the prequels, and that's their favorites because that's the ones they got to watch, so, in the theater. So, I mean, it's all, it's a matter of opinion. I, of course, can't stand those three, but uh, whatever. It's funny, taking Santa photos the other day, a little guy comes in and he's wearing Star Wars shoes running shoes and I said well who's your favorite person from Star Wars and he goes Darth Vader a three-year-old said that Darth Vader was his favorite I said but isn't Darth Vader a bad guy he goes yeah but he's so cool I stood in line for the Phantom Menace with a friend of mine and that was a big waste of time all right we're here now I got an hour to set up, finish what I'm, you know, get ready for the Santa photos. I'm here till 6. 6.25 is the old Christmas concert for the kids. 7.25 is the movie, so two. Five hours to go till Star Wars time. Is it bad that I'm more excited to, for Star Wars than my daughter's Christmas concert? Is that bad? This is our room for getting Santa ready uh, when he's just before he goes on the show. So let's get him dressed and we're on our way. So, funny story, about 20, 22 years ago, I was an amateur photographer, just doing it on the side. And the place that I took my my images to, to get my film developed, was a place here in the mall. It's not here anymore. And uh, they offered me the job of Santa photos. So, 20, 23 years ago, I did the Santa photos up here in the town of Country Mall. I did it for that one year. And when I was doing it, um, my current boss at McMaster's, he brought his child up and I did the Santa photos. Once I realized who he was, I begged the guy for a job. I'm talking, begged him. But he said no and I phoned him endlessly and I harassed him enough where finally the guy said fine, I'll give you a job. So 22, 23 years later, here I am back at the start doing Santa photos at the town of Country Mall. It's crazy.
Well, that covers our day with Santa, so uh, I'm off now to the Christmas party. Uh, can't wait for that. Both my girls are in it, but I uh, have exactly 15 minutes to get there and take care of that. So uh, let's do this. Well, that was absolutely terrific, I gotta say. Got to see the two girls now. I'm off to Star Wars. Uh, show starts at 7.25. It is exactly 10 after 7, so I better get moving. You got some goodies yet? No, I, got, I bought you a poppin'. Here you go, here's my ticket. And there's Brandon's ticket right there. Six? Thank you. You look great. All right, Brandon. I like the beard. Brandon, you like that? I do. All right, we're off. I finally made it. I've been through a long day. I had work today. Yeah. And I had a Christmas concert that I had to go to oh, for Lord. my daughters. I prayed for you. And uh, we made it to the, to the movie, so here we are. Star Wars! There's music playing. What the heck? Let's go find out. No. I think that's, <laughs> that's, that's not over another theater, I think. Oh, thank oh, God. Star Wars. It's not even that packed. No. I would have... Like I would have fully expected it to be jam-packed. What the heck? That's dumb. Sorry, man. That's weird. Hey, what did I put that say? Let's see. Something? Seat 9. You're seat 10. Yeah. I want to be 10. Okay. Really? You do? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Where is nine and ten? Right in the middle somewhere. Oh, I think we're we gotta walk past all these people. I squeeze in there, guys. Sorry. Thanks for. Okay, let's, sorry about the butt. Sorry about the butt. Right, we oh. Okay, it's really dark, but what was the first Star Wars movie you ever seen in the theater? In the theater? Yeah. I was just thinking about it on my way here. It's 1999. I uh, stood in line to get tickets a month before to the Phantom Menace. Oh, that's disappointing. It was the worst because... Well, wait a second. Now, go back to it. I was okay. just talking about this earlier today. The yeah. fact that my first experience was the, uh, the original. G, right? yeah, yeah, the original, but in I went in December because it opened in May. Oh, so there was already hype. Yeah, but hype. I, I knew how cool it was going to be. But uh, but I was saying that there's kids out there, like you, because mm -hmm. you're a kid. I'm a, yeah, sure. Thank you. Who, who their I'm first movie ever that. to see for Star Wars in the theater was the, was the Phantom Menace or one of the prequels, right? Right. So did you love it when you first saw it? I hated it. You as a kid? How yeah, old are you? I was 15. 
And you hated it? I didn't like it at all. You knew at that age that was a piece of crap? Yeah, because I grew up on the originals, and I went to go see the oh. remastered in 97, so I was like... Did did you, did you, what did you like about... Did you like the remastered, or did, did you care about that? I... Because I, I, I watched, like, the original, like, so the... I guess, right, so you I know. I don't know, the, maybe the original, but the second version. Right. So I didn't like all of the CG and crap. Like that. I remember the distinct... Um, the, the mood of the, the theater, where it was... Elation when, right. the, when the Star Wars uh, yeah. title yeah. came out, yeah. and then by midpoint, when we were off of uh, uh, we're, uh, t- tattooing, right. you could feel like there was like a mobbing lynch kind of like, like they a, were hating it. Yeah, there, and I got see, into it. And like, yeah. see, so I think really young kids, like five, six, seven, like I showed my uh, youngest son Phantom Menace, and he enjoyed it. Okay, he no, liked I it. Hated it. Be- uh, not Phantom. Yeah, was it Phantom? Oh, Phantom what was the first one? Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Yeah. That was for the pod racing and all that yeah. crap. Right? Yeah, that's a, they, he liked that stuff. But okay. anyway, so for me, it was the first one. I knocked my socks off. On the, I remember all all I wanted was Star Wars stuff, and I had some pretty cool Star Wars stuff. I wish I still had it. Yeah. It'd be worth a lot. You don't have it. I don't have it put away. No. Dude. Well, I was well, eleven. Yeah, I oh, all right. Well, movie's gonna start. Okay. Bye. Bye. I gotta tell you, I just got out of Star Wars, and uh, I don't know if I liked it or hated it. Brandon liked it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. All right, so I'm home from the movie. Looking forward to Star Wars all day. Couldn't wait to get there. I don't know if I like it as much as I thought I would. It's a fun movie. Don't get me wrong. But I think if you're a diehard Star Wars fan... It's not going to be your favorite movie. In the grand scheme of things, I enjoyed the concert more than the movie. Because it's my kids. That's it.